Yo, what is going on guys? Enzum here, and today I'm finally ready to show you the Gotenks Snap Guide. Now, quick disclaimer, uh, I did make a tier list a while ago. Uh, I haven't uploaded the channel, but it's going to be uploaded eventually. Probably not the full thing, I'm probably just going to upload the finished product and talk about it a little bit. But I actually did call Gotenks the best character in the game. Now, despite his recent tournament's performance is not really showing that, you've seen like Jiren winning a lot, you've seen like Cell winning a lot, all the good stuff, right? Um, I think that is because people do not know the thing I know about him, the thing I created. And with this added piece of knowledge, I think he is easily the best character in the game. Now, I'm going to show you. Because if you guys watch my Kefla Snap Guy, and if you guys haven't, you should, because that is extremely cheap. And if you, especially if you want to play Kefla or you want that assist, you can start cheating and playing Season 2, right? But if you have, she has nothing on Gotenks. And I mean actually nothing. Like, you think Kefla was cheap? Gotenks is so much better than her at doing it. So... I'm going to break this down into two different parts because he actually has two different things he can do with snap that is extremely important. Now the first one is how he works on point. Um, and if I'm not going to really explain too much of the intricacies because I explained it very thoroughly in the Kepler guide, just the, the entire concept, but I'm just going to go over it really fast. Okay, so Vanish is a frame for reversal, right? So it's like uh, like Red Gogeta's counter or Vegito's counter or 18's barrier. Um, but if you do EX top, drag it to the ground like this, jump as fast as you can, hit, hit Dragon Rush, so like TK it, do a 21 hit Dragon Rush, snap, and the second you touch the ground, input EX top and hold up, it should look like that. And as you can see, it actually just counter hit his uh, vanish, meaning you cannot frame 4 out of this at all. Um, pretty simple. Um, you can also use assist, but this is how he does a solo. And as you can see, it lasts long enough to meet the 30 frames as well. So with that knowledge in mind, let's, I'm going to show you guys what he can do from this. Okay. So um, I'm actually going to show you guys how to actually route into this first. Because it would be easier. So if you want to do it solo, something like this would be pretty good. Right. Um, if you want to not spin the uh, half bar to set this up, you can also just use an assist so he can kind of pick and choose, which is something Kefla cannot really do that well. If that happens, that means you messed it up, by the way. Um, so right there, I was not close enough to the ground uh, when I did the Dragon Rush, so I wasn't close enough, so I should do this round instead. And if you feel like you're not close enough to the ground, you can literally just jump and do it, and it will still work the exact same way. This version is a little bit worse, so I'm going to explain why in a little later, but if you feel like you weren't close enough to the ground with the Dragon Rush, you feel like your height was off, just jump and do it. Uh, it will guarantee that the setup will work, but you get a slightly weaker version of it, right? But those are the different routes you can use to get into it. Um, now, let me explain how the situation actually works. So we're just going to do this. I'm going to show you guys the proof of concept, and then I'm going to show you guys the sequence all put together, right? So whatever combo, whichever route you choose, enter this. So from here, you can do a few different things. So the first thing you can do in this, this is just if you want plus frames. You don't really care about going for mix-up, you just want your turn. Cancel into light top. And if done properly, you should be plus one. Now, uh, this is good because obviously your 5-0 has now hit on frame five, meaning they cannot mash. The only thing they are allowed to do is 4 frame in this situation, and you don't even have to let them do that if you don't want to. Um, now, that is just if you want solo pressure. You can also um, do that. Now, when Gothings does this, this is actually unto Hable Super Dash, which is nice. Um, let me just show you guys. You cannot two-way tie, it will counter hit it. You can only reflect it. So what you could do is you can actually put them into a guest reflect situation, which is pretty nice. Because you can um do this, use an assist, mix. Get your air action here. So this is a 50-50. So if you have an assist, that's one way to 50-50. right um if you think they're going to reflect it's as simple as doing this canceling it once they reflect boom dead character go tinks 
hit extremely hard off this. And if you want to just see how this will look, uh, this is how it will look. You want to know how much damage they'll actually take. Oh my god, I, I messed up so bad. But I promise you, they died. Like I said, they die. So, if they really want to play that game with you, goodbye. Um, but he has another option he can do off this, which is, again, something Kepler cannot do, is you can actually give your mix-up to another character. And this is actually using the fact that Gotenks can do this. And then you do whatever you want from there. You could do like, um, I'm just going to show the mix-up slots. You could do like double overhead. You can do empty jump low. You could do that. You can also, um, do a character specific thing. You can do a lot of things. You can do empty jump grab. Uh, but the way this will actually look now is because you can cancel his ground atop into another top. Oops, messed that one up. That happens. And because that happens, you can get some pretty fucked up situations. So, uh, for example... Get that. You could even like whatever right so you can literally alley oop the snap mix to somebody else which is insane and that's not the only way you can do that we're gonna talk about that a little later but these are some of the options that you can use right boom now as for the opponent being able to get out of this they can frame one dpu like i explained in the kefla video i'm not going to explain this but um if you are curious as to how to get out of it, you can watch the Kefla video. The same ways to get out of it with the Kefla one is basically the same way with this one. Again, it's still really hard to input though. Um, so you can still do it even if they have a DP, it's fine. But the other one, which is the system mechanics, is guard cancel, guard cancel, vanish. Now, normal guard cancel does not work because you just got snapped, so you literally cannot input it. You cannot guard cancel if you just got snapped. See the red X's? The second it stops, still he'll guard cancel, right? You don't even have to worry about that. The other one, though, guard cancel vanish, also doesn't work because they attempt to do this. Go tanks, EX top is multi hitting, and it hits 360, meaning they will guard cancel vanish into your loving arms. Oh my god, I drifted down. Hold on. Majority top. Sometimes that happens, but that happens. They got extremely lucky. Whatever, get your combo. And two touch enabled, right? So that's why they shouldn't do that one. Um, even if they try to delay the guard cancel vanish. So let's just do that. It doesn't matter because for majority of these setups, you will cancel into itself or it just lasts long enough. See? So if you do the one where you're trying to get plus frames, they will literally guard cancel into another top and then they die. And then you get whatever combo you want. Or, um, if you're doing the double EX top, obviously the same case scenario, right? And they die, because you get a full combo. So, now that I explained how this works, you can have fun doing that. You guys understand the routes, whatever, whatever, whatever. Let's get into the fun part now. I remember when I said he can alley-oop his mix-ups to his teammate like that? What if I told you guys that is not the only way he can do it? I promise you, we can get so much cheaper. So... Let me introduce to you why he's actually the true best. Because he has one of the best assists in the game easily. Now, if you guys was watching this or watched the Kepler video and thought like, man, I really wish my character could snap mix like that. Because I don't really want to play these characters or I don't have as much fun with these characters and I have a super fun with a lot of characters. If you're anything like me with Vegeta, you can because his assist actually gives everyone in the game snap mix. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what character you're playing. There is a snap mix up for you and you can make it really fucked up if you explore it long enough. 
So I'm going to show you guys the basic rules, explain how it works, and then give you guys some examples that you guys can find it with your own teams now, right? So again, similar to the Kefflin Gothings thing, the requirements to set this up is you need a TK Dragonus, very low to the ground, 21 hits and snap, and you also need Gotenk C assist. As long as you have these two conditions met, you can do it. So let me explain the actual way it works. So it's gonna be a little technical, but bear with me, right? There is 30 different frames of variable of incoming timing when you snap. They can delay by 30 frames. Because you can point Gotenks upwards, that is actually at the proper snap height. That's like, he literally pointed at snap height, which is cool. And what you could do with this information is, frame 11 through 30 it will meety four frames on incoming so let me show you what that looks like so again vanish is a frame for reversal so if you time this properly that means i mistimed it give me a second there it is Right? The reason it wasn't working before is because I accidentally called this as a little too late, which is going to be fine because even if you mistime it by like a frame or two, the chances of a human being able to intentionally hold back for 11 frames, then incoming, and then get a frame perfect input outside of that is not really humanly possible. So you shouldn't have to worry about that too much. But this will cover frame 11 through 30 for you. I'm just going to show frame 30. Boom, right? So all you have to do is cover frame zero through 10 because Gotenks will not meet them frame four. Uh, as you can see, he won't. So all you have to do is cover the first 10 frames with the move, call the assist perfectly, and that will account for all 30 frames of incoming. And then all, the next thing you have to do is make sure that move sets up a 50-50. So I'm going to show you an example of that right now. So there's a universal way to do this. Um, which is jump button. A bit boring, but it gets the job done because you have your air action. That's low. Oops, I missed time now. Oh my god, I keep mistiming it. You also want to experiment with button works better. I think Gita's Jam actually works a little bit better for this, but I'll do JL just for demonstration purposes. That's high, right? Boom. So that's already a 50 50, pretty universal, which is cool. Um, again, all frames are accounted for, so you're fine. Uh, and they also cannot take the hit because if they attempt to take the hit, you're calling a C assist, so it uh, auto confirms for you. So taking the hit just gives you a free combo. So you get what you want if they take the hit. And then you get a good route, which is cool. And the route also kind of hurts, which is nice. You always have your second assist. 41%, right? Whatever. So the other thing that is important to know when you do this is you want to... Okay, so let me explain this, right? So when you do this, there's two different versions of the mix-ups that can occur every time you do this. Version one is when the move you use to cover these first 10 frames connects with them, right? So that means they do immediate incoming. They choose to come in early and it actually connects with them. You want to make sure that it still gives you a 50 50 and i'll show you what that means right um so right here this jail is going to connect but as you can see even when it connects i still get the mix up right i still get the mix up right i, I messed up the jam but you you obviously see it but you also want to make sure that even with the same setup if they choose to delay the incoming and it doesn't connect you still get the mix up so right there, as you can see, the JL missed because he delayed it so much, but it doesn't matter because Gotenks will jail you to the ground and you still get your mix-up. So you want to make sure that you don't have to actually react to which one they're doing. You just want to do the setup. And regardless of what happens, the mix-up occurs, right? So as long as your mix-up follows those two rules, it's a little tip just to make sure it's consistent. But let's get a little bit more fun. Let me show you some custom-made stuff. I know you guys like that word home bait stuff so because this is character specific and each character going to have a different way they can do this and a lot of different ways you can start making some custom stuff so i'm going to show you some examples for some characters so you guys can really get the idea right ex knee drop 
right? But the real beauty of this is, when they choose to delay the incoming, they mix, they mix up so much more fucked up. Good luck. <laughs> right? I'm not done with you, though. Oh my god, I messed it up. But even that was a little cheap. <laughs> So do not delay this incoming because I can choose to stay same side too. Come here. Oh, I missed time that's so he blocked in the air. You could be like to him. <laughs> Just rapid fire some mix ups for you guys. <laughs> oh, what side am I on? You are not blocking that. You are not blocking that. All you got here. All your ankles are turned to dust. So, this is an example of how fucked up it can get, right? And this is just some custom-made stuff. So, I'm going to give you guys a few more ideas with Jiren, right? So, Jiren is really good at doing this because he can kind of route into the uh, grounded DR with the full combo. Good damage. But look what he can do. Ooh, you saw that to him? Okay. But I'm not done with you, right? Cross up. Right? You can even throw in a grab or two for fun. Right? <laughs> Alright. But, just to really show you how cheap this can get, it's just like, things like this can happen to you. You're playing neutral, right? Or mixed. Oh, you got a, you got hit? Okay. Time to party. It doesn't matter how you got hit. It's the fact that you got hit, right? This could actually happen to you in a game. Goodbye. <laughs> right, you're dead as hell. Not obviously. Look, look, you're dead as hell. So you can even hit him with a TOD 50/50. Both options will kill you if this situation happens. Some characters can even take it that far. Um, and again, just to show you guys, this version of the setup again, the 2S is missing because he's uh, maxing delay, right? But I still get my mix-up, right? But if he chooses the incoming or any timing where it actually will connect, I'm still going to do the same thing and it's going to give me the same mix-up, or at least still give me a mix-up. So you want to make sure that whatever mix-up you find follows this rule, so you always can apply a little bit of sh mixture. Right? He's obviously dead. So, boom. All right? I'm going to give you guys, um, let me think. I'm going to give you guys two more examples so you can really get the purpose. Because, again, you can obviously do the universal, like, jump button. But wh where's the fun in that, right? The fun, it gets fun when you are allowed to do character-specific things. So, let's take Baby because he's one of the best in the game at doing this, I think. And let's get, um, we want Bardock. No, let's actually, let's do a character without a 2L low or a fast low, just so you can see that even characters without insanely fast lows can still access this mix up. But again, you have to be creative. Whatever character you have, as long as you are following these rules, close to the ground Dragon Rush, 21 hit Dragon Rush snap, and you have Goating C available, the mix up uh, works on if the the move you're using connects with them initially or if even if it misses you still, still get your mix up as long as you follow these rules have fun mixing so excuse my trash baby because my baby is actually terrible but baby can do that route right so um if a character actually has um access to a route that allows them to get like a solo DR like that. Uh, bonus points. 
because they can like just kind of get a huge combo and then just go into a solo which is really really good so he's very good at doing this i don't know how to play baby i'm just gonna whatever 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 probably do more than this definitely could do more than this but he can get into it too right right and then that's baby's version Right. Right. <laughs> Ooh, what side am I on? <laughs> like you, you can get like, literally, it's sandbox. It's literally sandbox. Like, have fun mixing. Like. <laughs> And just to show you again, that's following all the rules. Um, one, if they attempt to take the hit, it will always combo. As I mess it up. There it is. Right? If they choose to max delay tech and take the hit, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how they take the hit. Go Tanks will do it to them. Um. If they choose to max delay incoming and my 3S will miss, that is not 3S, that was a beam. I still get my mix up. So, yeah. And if they choose to immediate incoming, Obviously, I just showed the, the, the sheer amount of mix-ups you get, right? Obviously, if, if I was you and I was a baby player and I was doing this, I would just press 2 and die. <laughs> I'm going to just press 2 and kill their character. So, the last example I'm going to show you guys is a character that does not have access to a fast slow, which is base Goku. But, with a little bit of rulage following, we still do a little something. So obviously he could do the universal one. It's not as good because he doesn't have a two or low. But 10 frame lows with super jump fastball is still pretty hard to block. Come here. You get a full combo back to the wall. Ooh. Now same side to him. Ooh. Like you, you, you literally just sandbox, build something. Right? This is my personal favorite. These were my personal favorites. Cause you can just get a full combo like that. Or if you really, really want to be cheap. And I know none of you guys are going to block this one. Meek! <laughs> you did not expect me to go to that side. I know none of y'all did. So, have fun mixing. And you guys are welcome. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace.